Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 12 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and uh, AC circuits. So there you can see we have a solenoid, right? Look like this one. And uh, we, now we need to make another solenoid from the wires the initial solenoid has. And this time the second solenoid has the diameter 2.5 times larger. Ask you what factor does the inductance changes. So the, there we need to find the relationship between the inductance and the diameter changes right for a solenoid. So this one we write down the definition for inductance. So you can say this is n. How many turns on this solenoid? And this is a 5B magnetic flux. This is a current goes through yeah, these wires. And this 5B can be write as a B times A, right? The B magnetic field is by this solenoid, mu naught Ni. And N can write as how many turns N divided by L or 1 over D, right? Yes. Now you can see uh, we input is a 5B. B times A as 5B and input mu naught Ni as B and then we can get the equation for the inductance in this format. See? Right? So in this format, you can see we can introduce the factors like the N, how many turns it has for solenoid, length of this solenoid, diameter for this one inside. Now we need to find the relationship between them, right? So we can see, as we talk about, we just uh, get the same wires from the solenoid one to make the, sec the second solenoid. So the wire length should be equal, right? Because it's the same copper wire. So this wire can be length can be write as n, how many times it has, times the pi, times the d, d is the diameter for solenoid. Agree? Yes. Now, as we talk about uh, the d2, so the second diameter should equal to 2.5 the d, the first diameter, first solenoid diameter, right? So we have this equation. This is given out there. There. As you can see, as we talk about, this wire is constant. Now the d diameter changes pi is constant so the n must changes right so this is the reverse proportional relationship so the n1 should be 2.5 n2 because we say the length of a wire l wire should be constant right so n1 should be equal to n2 uh, so the next one if we want to find the length for the solenoid, length for the solenoid, that is how many turns for these uh, wires times the diameter for the wire. Agree? Yes. Now we come there. As we talk about, we can get the equation for the inductance in this uh, format. So if we use the ratio L over L2 over L1, right? And we input the equation for L2, equation for L1, you can see mu naught, mu naught cancels, 4, 4 cancels, pi, pi cancels, so you get it there. Now another thing, there we have n2 squared times d, so n2 squared looks like there, right? We can replace it with l wire divided by pi squared, right? There. And this part and the length for the solenoid 2 right it is there, length for solenoid 1 right is there, and these two term cancels. So we get the equation to this one, L solenoid 1, L solenoid 2. So L solenoid 1, N1 one times D wire, N2 times D wire for the second solenoid. D wire divided cancels, so we get it as N1 divided by N2, so answer is 2.5. Thank you.